You all right there, man? Holen Sie sich in den Wagen, Genosse. I'll get in. Sure. Oh, I get in, you leave? Okay. What about you, my man? Is your name Rudolf Schmidtke? Well, Rudolf, um, wanna, wanna see if we can drive across the English Channel? And I'm sure this isn't an accurate representation of the English Channel. Alright, Rudolph, we're going for a ride. Yeah! So remember when we were driving, driving in your car, speed so fast it felt like I... Rudolf Schmidtke is no more. My name is Rudolf Schmidtke. On the 12th of August, 1940, I was a Wehrmacht soldier in France, supporting the Luftwaffe at their bases for Adler Tag. The day we were to bomb England into submission in preparation for Operation Sea Lion. I was still green back then. Still had hopes that the Vaterland would conquer England as I had already done with France, Holland, Belgium, Luxembourg, Denmark, Poland, the list could go on. Und we all know how Adler Tag went. But here's something history will not tell you. Adler Tag was not supposed to simply be a bombing campaign. One special soldier, who seemingly came out of nowhere, was trained and ready to deploy. He had a job people thought was impossible. To fly a bomber himself over England, come in low, jump out, and land in England with the mission of sabotaging the English RAF bases. The Fuhrer thought it would be a perfect example of an Übermensch single-handedly taking the United Kingdom, even though his officers, including Göring und Himmler, thought it was a terrible idea. And a terrible idea it was, as it turned out this so-called Übermensch was not sabotaging England, but a saboteur for England. This spy was named Primus Prime 22. And because of his meddling, not only did I almost lose my life, but Adlertag was crippled and Germany lost all hope at conquering England. After Adlertag, Primus returned to the British army who posted him in the North African campaign. While my almost dead body surfaced and was given medical treatment, I am alive and I know the spy who ruined everything. I will get my revenge. I transferred myself to the Africa Corps under the command of General Rommel and as we continue to fight around Tobruk, I know my enemy is near. My name is Rudolf Schmidtke and this is the story of my revenge. Alright, my fellow British soldier! I'm so sorry, but, but this is Primus Prime 22. We have successfully beaten Rommel's Germans away from Tobruk, and now it's time to wipe out those stragglers hoping to launch a counteroffensive into Tobruk. I was there, you know, when we saved Tobruk, and now I'm in charge of you, sorry lot, to cross our T's and dot our I's. Let's do this. Let Operation Battleaxe commence! Alright troops, if we're going to liberate Tobruk, we need to push through, we need to take these German fortresses. So let's go, let's let's not dilly-dally, know what I'm saying? Oh! Duh! Who, who did that? Okay guys, see how we're losing that one flag? That's the opposite of pushing. We need, we need to save our dudes up at the front, you know? Oh, good job. And push the advantage while we can take that German flag. This feels very dangerous. No one else is brave enough. Actually, it looks like people are pushing up to the other flag, so I am making a terrible decision. Like this. Alright, we're taking it. This is good, yes? Oh no. Hey, sniper. Good. This is like some sort of... Alright, people are spawning in. We're good. Oh, dear God. I need to take the other flag, but I'm afraid that I'm not going to be able to 
leave here. Well, with all these guys sticking around. Boom! Well, bam! Did I kill Rudolf Schmitka? How is he still alive? Rudolf Schmitka, my man. <laughs> we had a good drive, but it was not meant to be. We had lost the siege of Tobruk earlier that day, and Rommel had ordered a retreat. But I stepped up that day and I demanded to have a unit of my own to hold the line to cover the Wehrmacht's retreat. I knew Primus was in there, and I knew it was my duty to wipe him out. Little did I expect that this fresh group of British soldiers would attack us, and there, spearheading the charge, was Primus, the traitor himself. Naturally, I went to confront him, and I got shot up in the process. The medics managed to pull me back, but I was not done yet. Primus will fall. Alright, Martin Schmidt. Oh, come on. Alright, no ammo. That's not good. Uh, well. Let's take this with a pistol. Sure, that'll work. Come on, my fellow British soldiers, let's rush the Germans! Rush those by cherry rotters over here! I am so sorry. Oh, we're taking both flags. Look at us. We're of the British Empire and we will not be ignored. That's something they said, right? No. So now, we just have to hold this line here and stop any German soldiers from coming here. Bleed them out and soon they're withdrawn to Brook is safe. Rudolf Schmitka. Yep, good job with that. Boom. We're actually doing pretty good. I think this is the first time I feel like we're actually doing something. Why aren't there any ammo stores anywhere? Kapuya, Kapuya. Did I kill them? Oh, I already killed. Ow, oh, don't shoot me, Holmes. Oh, that's a tank. Well, I hope we can hold out. Where? Why does Germany have no ammo stores or caches anywhere? Is that, is someone using this tank? Oh, I see how it is. Oh, this is good. What could possibly go wrong here? Ah, uh, yeah. Rudolf Schmidtka! You fool! What are you doing? There you go. Shot after shot I took from Primus, but no amount of blood loss could stop me from trying to kill him. After all, he was just a man. But when he stormed our headquarters in his tank, I saw something else. He played the song he played when he almost killed me the first time, and that was when I finally realized that this man was no ordinary man. This was a war machine posed to destroy our Reich and everything it stands for. Total victory. That is what I'm talking about. The Germans were prepared, but the reinforced Allied forces had enough firepower to win this key victory in the North African campaign. To gain victory, the Allies withstood one of Germany's greatest military commanders and a surprise attack by the Luftwaffe. Though Rommel is on the run now, he will surely regroup as soon as possible to launch a counter-strike. Now, though, it is time for the troops to rest and prepare for the next battle. We did it, guys. We, we liberate, we relieved the siege of Tobruk with Operation Battle Axe, and we're victorious. And that's, as, that's all the time I have for today, considering all the editing I might have to do for this, so yeah. 
Thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe if you like if you have not yet. Follow me on social media for updates. Check out the links in the description and have a good day, ladies and gentlemen. Sorry.